So hey guys, this is going to be my son's birthday cake, and I did my icing, my buttercream icing, actually yesterday. So um, I had it in the fridge. If you did your icing already pre-made and had it um, in the fridge, mine looks like this. It is green because obviously I'm doing a dinosaur cake. Uh, you want to leave it set out while you mix your cake up and it while it bakes so it's nice and soft um, so it's ready to ice. You like it at room temperature. So if you did pre-make your icing, I would take it out, you know, ahead of time. And you're going to need uh, two of these round circle pans. I have to find my other one. And then you're going to need um, just some stuff here, just some, uh, your spatula. You're going to need your cake mix. Obviously, I got the Super Moist Betty Crocker Triple Fudge Chocolate um, Cake Mix. And you're going to need all your ingredients on the back, um, the oil, the water, and the eggs, or whatever yours calls for. This is my favorite um, cake mix, I guess, is the Betty Crocker. Would be my favorite. Next would be Pillsbury. Um, you're going to need some M&Ms. You can get a small bag if you like, because we're only going to use the brown ones. Um, you could use a green, I guess would look cute too, um, but I always use the brown ones. Then you're going to need some Hershey Kisses, or something that looks like Hershey Kisses, and um, this is what I got. And then you're just going to need a bowl and your mixer, and you're going to need a knife and things like that. So I'm going to set up my camera angle a little bit different, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I set up my camera angle a little bit better. I already measured everything that was supposed to be in my box. Um, here's my three eggs. My box called for a cup and a third of water and also a half cup of oil. So I you just normally mix it with a spoon and then I hit it with the hand mixer just to get all the lumps and everything out of it. Since this is like the triple chocolate um, cake batter, I am going to take some little mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm just going to add about a handful and mix that in with my batter as well. Okay, so my cake batter is mixed. Next thing, you're going to take your two um, pans. I still have to find my other one. I might just do it um, in one and then the other one. I have this oops, silicon one or whatever, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. I couldn't find my other metal one. But anyway, um, just take some nonstick spray and spray it really good because you're going to want this cake just to slide right out and I have like phobia of my cake sticking it sounds crazy um, fill that up make sure you preheated your oven um, before you mixed your cake and everything okay, so I just took my Hershey Kisses off the foil um, you can always obviously um, undo more but I like to have some ready for when it's decorating and then I took the brown okay up. so here's my first um, pan and um, my other one's still cooling, but I'm going to show you how we do this one, and then we'll just piece them together. I just have them actually in my cake pan, and then I will ice them just straightly out of this. Um, so we're just going to take the bottom, and you just want to cut, I'd say, probably about two inches off the bottom. Like that. And you can set that off to the side. We're not going to need that. And um, you can patch it up with icing if you need to, like my little corner broke. So um, it looks like that so far. And then we're going to cut its legs out. So I'm going to do a U shape out of the middle. Okay, and then you can just kind of pat it back together. And like I said, you can always touch it up with icing. So it just looks like a horseshoe, I guess, right now. Okay, so here is what I have so far. I have the one that I already cut into its legs and body. And that one looks like this. And here is my second round cake. And this is going to be the head and the tail. Um, you can get templates. I actually found this cake. This isn't my idea online. I think you can get templates of the tail and head, but I did my own measurements. So you're going to kind of just sit them on there. And you're going to cut them out. So I'm going to just use the head and just cut the shape off. Okay. 
once I get that cut out, I'm going to show you how I'm going to place it on my cake. And my cake is a little bit warm yet, so we can always piece it together and hold it together with icing. So that's what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to cut the tail out. My cake is super moist, so I'm going to actually put my cake in the freezer. And then we can crumb ice it, and crumb ice it is just to get the um, crumbs to stick. Okay, so my cake just came out of the freezer, and we're going to crumb coat it. And what that is is just a thin layer of icing, um, just so you don't get the crumbs and everything in the regular icing. So you put a thin layer of icing on, and then I'm going to put it back in the freezer for about 10 minutes. I'll take it out, and then I'll ice it for real. Um, so this is still in the freezer. My cake is kind of moist. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in how the shape turned out and how it's fallen apart already. I couldn't find my spatula, so I'm using this big knife. Um, I'm just going to um, that's okay. This isn't our final coat of icing, so if you get that, that's fine. Um, I would recommend if you are icing something not to do it in a cake pan like I am. Uh, I didn't have anything that was big enough uh, to set this on that was flat. Uh, it's a lot better, obviously, with no sides, but um, this is workable if this is the only thing that you have. So I'm going to finish um, top icing this one, and then I'll show you before I put it in the freezer. The icing is going to hard up, and it'll seal in the crumbs. So when we put the final coat of icing on, it'll be easier, and you won't have, like, crumbs, especially if this is a moist cake, which mine is. Um, so this is what it looks like um, so far. And I just sealed in all of the edges and things like that. And then, okay, so this is the second time in the freezer, and it was in there for 10 minutes. And it's time to finally ice the final part of the cake. And I'm just using a spatula for right now, and then I will smooth it out with a knife. And it's a lot harder, and the crumbs will not stick on the final coat. Okay, so let's just admit I'm definitely not a professional cake maker. Um, I think it turned out okay. I think it'll look better um, decorated. This is what it looks like ah, so far. Um, now I'm going to clean up the edges. As you can see, I spilled a little bit. So I'm just going to take a paper towel, kind of wipe it down. Okay, so I got my Hershey Kisses out of the fridge, and I also have my M&Ms. And I also got some... White squeeze icing I'm going to use for the teeth. And then I have blue icing. I think I'm going to write Roar um, Aspen's 4 or something like that. And happy birthday over here. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start actually with the Hershey Kisses. And I do think I'm going to have to um, unwrap some more. We're going to use them as spikes. So I'm going to try to sit them like that and just the whole way down the back and up the tail. The little spikes. And then I'm going to take the M&Ms and I'm going to put these as the, its toes. Okay, and then I'm going to do its eyes. And I'm just going to put some spots actually around it. I keep putting these M&Ms down the wrong way. Make sure the M is pointed down if you're using M&Ms. Just some spots, um, random places. I'm not really putting them anywhere particular. Mm -hmm. 
I unwrapped four more. Um, just kind of put them wherever. Flat candy would work too. Probably a little bit better than this. But this is what I had. And you can always fill in the spots or whatever. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to work on its eyes. And I'm just going to thing, but I'm just going to make it have teeth. 